Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Steve, your semi comprehensive guide, back here with another YouTube tutorial. And today, I will be showing you some of the uh, basics in getting started in Elgato uh, Game Capture. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, if you're not familiar with it, Elgato is a company that sells uh, capture cards, uh, devices that um, can record um, your console, your laptop, uh, basically anything with an HDMI port. They're one of the best. I have one of their capture cards, uh, I use it for all of my videos that are on my laptop, and uh, I would highly recommend them. So uh, if you don't have one, head over to their website, go to Capture, and then they'll give you a list of all the uh, capture cards you can buy. If you already have one, though, and uh, want to know how to use it, um, then go over here to Software, and it'll come up with the screen right here. Uh, just click Download. I've already downloaded it. It's the basic stuff that you should all know. You know, Click the Download button, open it, um, run it all the instructions. So once you have installed it, it should have installed these two icons, Elgato Game Capture HD and Sound Capture. We're not concerned about Sound Capture at the moment, so we're going to take our little Game Capture over here and we are going to open it. It'll take a little while. So. You're going to open Game Capture HD Alright, now it is finally open, so uh, we can take a look around here. There are these two tabs, Capture and Edit. If we go over here to Edit, it will uh, show me my latest recording, which <laughs> happens to be this amazing video about how to uh, stop Joy-Con drift on the Nintendo Switch. If you are interested in that, be sure to check it out. <laughs> but um, we're not concerned with this right now. Um, we need to head back over here to Capture. So we're going to get our game capture card, and uh, mine's a little older, but it should be the same on the newer models as well. I have a HDMI in, AV in, HDMI out, and a USB port. So the package with the Elgato game capture card should have included a USB Type-A cable. If it didn't, um, they're really easy to come by. You probably have one in your um, cable collection. <laughs> um, I have a few in mine. Um, but it, it should come with it, like I said. Um, so we are going to take our USB Type-A cable. We are going to plug one end of it, the USB end, into our, um, into our computer. And the Type-A end into our Elgato game capture card. Now like I said this is an older model, it could be different with the newer ones, but um, it, the process should be the same, plug in your USB cable, it could be a newer type, I'm not sure if it's still type A, but take that USB cable and plug it into the um, USB port on your game capture card, and it'll um, give us this little one moment please um, screen right here on our uh, game capture software. And from there, it'll leave us there, because what we need to do is we need to plug in two HDMI cables. One into our um, console, and the other into our uh, game capture card. And then back into the monitor we are most likely using. So as you can see on your screen, we plug one end of the HDMI cable into our uh, HDMI out port, and we will plug the other HDMI cable into the in. So make sure you have the correct cables and the correct ports. Um, they do make it helpful for you by putting the HDMI out and in on um, respective sides. Just make sure you're plugging in the cable from the console into the in and the cable going out of the card into your monitor. So make sure to keep that straight. And there we go. If you did everything correctly, it should show um, with the screen you are recording uh, in this little window here. An important thing to keep in mind um, with consoles, especially uh, the PlayStation, is that some of them have a mode called um, ECP, where it basically um, restricts use of capture cards on the uh, console unless you disable it. Um, so make sure that uh, you keep that in mind when you are recording on especially PS4. I don't think that applies to Switch, or um, obviously not to uh, computers, but uh, definitely on, I think, Xbox and PS4. And it's not buried too deep in the settings, you should just be able to go to System Settings and then um, scroll down, and it should be uh, in there. So if you have a black screen, uh, make sure that that is turned off on your consoles. Another thing to keep in mind when turning off ECP is that you cannot use any um, entertainment applications such as Netflix, YouTube, um, Amazon Prime Video, any of those when that is off. So if you're wondering why you can't play Netflix, uh, just make sure to turn it back on when you are done recording. Another thing, like I said earlier, uh, if it does not show up, make sure your computer is uh, powerful enough to handle this application. This is a very processor heavy application, so be sure that uh, your computer can handle this. Um, my first computer 
was not really able to handle it um, without crashing, so just be sure that you have a uh, good enough computer. Now another way to fix your uh, screen not showing up in this little window right here is uh, to go over here to the settings and um, to change your input device, that's um, kind of important. So if you're using Nintendo Switch, make sure to set it to Nintendo Switch. If you're using PS4, set it to PS4, you know, all this. With mine, I have it to Nintendo Switch, and I'm using, I'm recording a PC, um, but it's still fine, so it's not the end-all be-all to it actually going through and recording. But if um, you have a finicky computer or Elgato just doesn't want to be nice, then just set it to the proper device. Also, um, if it's laggy or slow or still black, then you can also uh, turn down the quality, all of this here. I'll going to detail in this in a uh, later video if you want to see that but um it should show on your uh, on your screen any other issues you might have um make sure to leave them in the comment section down below i will uh, be sure to help you out uh, i've experienced in this so i should be able to help you out with any issue you might have and that about does it for the uh basics in setting up elgato if you would like to um, see me do another tutorial on um, all of this stuff over here, then um, be sure to uh, like the video. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make it anyway. <laughs> so I'll I'll do um, um, I'll do another part about how uh, to do all this, and then I'll probably do another part um, about editing and all that stuff. So uh, watch out for those. And if this is in the future, then um, the links will be in the description, most likely. Uh, I've been Steve, your semi comprehensive guide. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope you have a wonderful day.